Hey guys, welcome back to Fight H channel. Alleged headgear rule for Jake Paul vs Mike Tyson is fake news. Paul's business partner refuted claims. The highly anticipated showdown between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson on July 20th in Texas will not feature headguards, dispelling rumors stirred by British heavyweight Derek Chisora. While specific details regarding the fight format and regulations remain undisclosed, Paul's business partner refuted Chisora's unfounded claims. Unequivocally, there is no headgear for Paul vs. Tyson, business partner said. Haters spreading fake news, but it won't stop the tens of millions of viewers. Tyson returned to the ring for an exhibition bout against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. With a career marked by remarkable achievements, his clash with Paul marks another intriguing chapter. He routed critics. Meanwhile, Paul, with a boxing record of 9-1, seeks to add another victory to his resume. Despite facing criticism due to the significant age gap between him and Tyson. However, Paul remains undeterred addressing critics alongside Adin Rose during a recent stream. You want to know the difference between Mike Tyson and KSI, Paul said. Mike Tyson will actually fight me. So who is the best now? That's the difference, bro. Oh, Mike Tyson, Mike's 57. But Mike signed a contract. KSI. You can say what you want, but you are fat running around doing side man YouTube videos. And I'm changing the sport of boxing. Paul said. Mike Tyson 57 shows off his incredible power and fitness as he begins training camp ahead of five with Jake Paul. Mike Tyson has shown off his incredible power and fitness at age 57 as he begins to train for his fight against Jake Paul. Taking to social media on Wednesday, the baddest man on the planet showed fans and his 27 year old opponent a glimpse of what they are going to witness in the ring on July 20th in Texas, as he practiced a series of punches with his trainer. It's day one, the fun has just begun, Tyson said at the end of the video, insinuating that there is more to come in the next four months. At the start of the month, Tyson, who is regarded as one of the greatest happy boxers of all time, said it would be fun to take on Paul, who has a 9-0 record with 6 knockouts. The fight will not involve head guards, but it's a bit revealed science. Aaron Mike, who has a 56 record with 44 knockouts, will be hoping to shake off the rust as it will be the first time in 90 years since his last competitive fight took place. His matchup against Paul will be at the AT&T Stadium. I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul, Tyson said in a statement. He has grown scientifically as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a god. It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. Paul was on the undercard in 2020 when Tyson and Jones fought in an exhibition boat that was scored as a draw. It's crazy to think that in my second pro fight I went with Ralph for knocking out Nate Robinson on Mike Tyson's undercard, Paul said. Now, less than four years later, I'm stepping up to face Tyson myself to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and the biggest icons. Drake Paul said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.